Welcome. Today, we'll do an experiment to show how to determine the focal length of a concave lens. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon to get more updates. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to a very useful website that we use for our projects. Today, if you want to create a voiceover, you may spend hours and even days hiring actors and renting studios. Even for just a short phrase. It gets much more difficult when you are trying to do that in multiple languages. All this makes the voiceover process lengthy and costly. Imagine if you could create a professional voiceover, in real time, in multiple languages, and for the cost of a cup of coffee. Well, you can. Cookerella, text-to-speech converter, gives you easy access to 700 AI voices across 130 languages and accents. You also get the right to commercial use with any of their paid plans. Thousands of creative people from the Government of Canada, Salesforce, DHL, McDonald's, University of London, Daimler, Mercedes, and other organizations use Cookerella to create voiceovers for their content. Why do they trust this platform? Cookerella is powered by Google, IBM, Microsoft and Amazon, which guarantees the highest quality of voice synthesis. Let us begin the experiment by determining the aim of this experiment. The aim of this experiment is to calculate the focal length of a concave lens. Let's take a look at the materials you'll need for this experiment. We need an object first and foremost. Illuminated wire gauze acts as an object in this case. Illuminated wire gauze, as shown in the video, is a wire mesh that we will use as the object. After that, we'll need a screen for this experiment. On the screen, an image of the object formed by the combination of convex and concave lenses will be displayed. Next, a lens stand is used to keep the lens firmly in place, as shown in the video. In this experiment, we use a thick lens stand to fix both the convex and concave lenses to the stand at the same time. For this experiment, we will use a convex lens. This is the convex lens we'll be using for the experiment. Next, we'll need a concave lens for this experiment. The experiment's aim is to determine the focal length of this concave lens. We'll use a combination of convex and concave lenses fixed to the same lens stand for this experiment. Next, we'll look at the principle behind the concave lens experiment. The formula for calculating the focal length of a concave lens is F1F, divided by, F1 minus F. The focal length of the convex lens is denoted by F1, and the focal length of the combination of convex and concave lenses is denoted by capital F. After that, let's have a look at how the concave lens experiment is set up. This is the object we'll be using in this experiment. The lens stand in front of the object is fixed with convex and concave lenses. The screen was then positioned in front of the lens stand. This is how we set up the apparatus. The distance between the object and the lens is denoted by U. U is the distance between the object and the lens. So, what is V? The distance between the lens and the screen is denoted by the letter V. Because an image is formed on the screen, the distance between the lens and the screen is given by V. Let's look at how to carry out this experiment. The lens is placed 20 centimeters away from the object for this. A scale can be used to calculate the value of U. What exactly is U? The U is the distance between this lens and the object. A scale can be found here. The distance between the lens and the object is measured as 20 centimeters using this scale. Next, we should adjust the screen. Adjust the screen in front of the lens stand until a clear image forms on the screen. On the screen, we can now see a clear image. After that, the distance between the lens and the image should be measured with a scale. Next, we have to measure the value of V. We can use a scale to determine the value of V. The letter V represents the distance between the lens and the screen. The distance between them is 35 centimeters. Now, we can change the value of U and repeat the experiment. Last time the value of U was taken as 20 centimeters. Now we can take it as 25 centimeters. 
Adjust the distance between the object and the lens to 25 cm. Now the measure of U is 25 cm. After that, adjust the screen to create a clear image on it. Take a look here. We can see an image, but it is blurry. We must create a clear image on the screen. We can now see a clear image. Following that, we have to measure the distance between the lens stand and the screen. We can measure V with the help of a scale. What exactly is the letter V? The distance between the lens stand and the screen is given by V. We can calculate the V. The length of the V is 25.9 cm. Here, U is 20 cm and V is 35 cm. The formula F is equal to UV divided by U plus V can be used to calculate the focal length of a combination of lenses. By substituting, we obtain a focal length of F equal to 12.7 cm. Similarly, if U is 25 cm and V is 25.9 cm, the focal length of the combination is 12.7 cm. The focal length of the convex lens is given as 10 cm. The focal length of a concave lens can be calculated using the formula F1F divided by F1 minus F. By substituting F1 as 10 cm and F as 12.7 cm, we get the focal length of the concave lens as minus 47.03 cm, that is, minus 47.03 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter.